Hi everyone, I'm going to review what a failed vegan eats in a day, Kaylin Miller Keys. Hello everyone, welcome back. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is. For me, it's morning, I just hmm. woke up, went through my skincare routine, and I steamed my face for so long this morning because it is freezing. And it's LA, so it's not that cold, it's like 55. So. I steamed my face just to get warm this morning. I'm excited to share with you guys another What I Eat In A Day video. During quarantine, I've just kind of started to learn more about my health, learn more about nutrition, and eating better, learning more. So yeah, so I did go see a nutritionist a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago now, and she did let me know that because I'm hypoglycemic, it's not best for me to be fully vegan and to incorporate fish and eggs two to three times a week. I also realized, and this is so silly now that I think about it, but I was replacing meat with vegan meat. And she said, don't do that because vegan meat should be looked at like eating a burger. So that was good to know and makes a lot of sense, but I don't know, my brain was like, oh, I'm not eating meat, replace it with vegan meat. And then she That's obviously because your body is craving meat. <laughs> it's not just some random idea, oh yeah, let's just replace meat with fake meat. No, it's, I want meat, so I'm gonna try to eat fake meat because I'm so brainwashed that I don't realize that it has nothing to do with meat, it doesn't have any nutrients, and it's simply my natural craving for meat that I'm trying to replace. Of course, the nutritionist recommends eating fish and eggs. It's just what they learn, the same way when you stop eating meat, then you stop red meat and start eating fish and eggs, and you stop the fish and then the eggs, and then you go vegan. Even though, of course, your body wants the red meat, they would say that red meat has cholesterol, blah, 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 but fish has more cholesterol than uh, most of the red meat that people eat, so it doesn't even make sense if you want to eat more healthy. She told me, instead of replacing meat with vegan meat, replace meat with beans. And she said, if you're vegan and not eating beans, there's no point in you being vegan. And I also didn't know that, hmm. so now I'm sure to have... Makes total sense. Uh, beans, which are incredibly toxic, unless you cook them to death, which are basically only fiber, almost no absorbable protein, which is exactly why they say it's such a good replacement food, and it has pretty much no micronutrients, even though meat has every nutrient. <laughs> Beans for lunch and dinner. Any type of bean, kidney, black, garbanzo, and I'll mix it's it all the with same salad, garbage. mix it in with a quinoa bowl. Now it is time for breakfast. I'm trying to not drink coffee every single day, so today I'm going to be making matcha. I'm talking a lot. Let's start making No difference, breakfast. I'll be using this matcha this morning. I got this from Thrive Market. I am obsessed with Thrive Market. I always talk about it. I'm always on their app shopping. And if you mm -hmm. click the link in the description box below and get your membership started, Always know, shopping, month, always consuming, because you're empty you'll inside. You'll get a free gift up to a $24 value. teaspoon of the matcha powder then I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla for taste and a little bit of cinnamon and a tiny bit of coconut milk yep and here is my vanilla cinnamon matcha latte that looks so good for breakfast I'm making a yogurt bowl using lava's pilly nut yogurt which I've never heard of a pilly nut before and you look absolutely sick, your nutritionist tells you that you shouldn't be vegan, but it's super typical to see these people still eat dairy-free yogurt, drink all these caffeine toxic drinks and whatnot. They totally don't get it, they can't snap out of it. I really like it. And then I'm going to add Sakara's granola, a little bit of honey, and some berries on top. It also has 50 billion probiotics per cup. I love this granola because it has toasted coconuts, almonds, and goji berries. And there it is. A super easy breakfast. It takes maybe two minutes. Okay, so you've got berries, uh, fiber and sugar, maybe some vitamin C, okay. It's cultivated berries, obviously the natural ones from the wild. And just a bunch of granola, grains, essentially just seeds. Seeds are loaded with phytic acid and other anti-nutrients. It's basically just fiber. You can't even digest it. You swallow it. It's in your intestines. It just damages your gut, that's essentially all that this kind of food does. And like I said, the dairy-free yogurt, because she's craving real dairy, obviously. No time at all, and you're getting a lot of probiotics, antioxidants, some protein, no. and granola. 
pretty good breakfast. I realized I forgot to state the obvious and say that I am not a nutritionist. I highly encourage people to go see one to make sure that your diet is right for you. But just wanted to say I'm not mm -hmm. a nutritionist. I just wanted to share That's pretty some obvious. interesting things that I learned. Maybe you're much smarter than me and already knew that, but I did not. Also, water is very, very important. I try to drink about three and a half of these each day. I just refill them at night. It's time for Dennis. I'm about to leave and I am still so cold. Ugh. And I know it's not that cold and I know people wow. in the Midwest and the East Coast, like Northeast, are experiencing much colder weather. But I'm very alone. I that is incredibly abnormal. If you would eat some liver with fat butter or whatever in the morning, your body would be incredibly heated up. It wouldn't even matter if it was even colder. And that's obviously not cold at all. Especially with your ethnicity, it's obviously somewhat uh, Middle Northern European from what it looks. So there's no way that you should be feeling that cold. But of course, you're not eating your natural diet, nothing even close to it, and that's why you feel cold. That's just a sign of malnourishment. Iron and I am freezing. I've got my Noka. I have been hooked ever since I got them. My Thrive Market order arrived. I can't say enough good things about Thrive. I am the biggest fan of this company. Thrive Market is an online membership-based market, and they are on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. One of the perks of Thrive Market is you get to enjoy member-only prices, and members save an average of about $32 per order. They also promise to never engage in surge pricing. And Thrive Market has the highest quality, healthy, and sustainable food. You can shop over 70 different diets. Paleo, keto, vegan, gluten-free. I have the app, so throughout the week, I'll just add things into my cart and purchase it towards the end of the week. It's also good for the planet. Orders over $49 mm -hmm. ship for free and your order is delivered with carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouse. And my favorite, favorite thing about Thrive is their Thrive Gifts program. How is They're anything good for the program. planet Every paid membership sponsors if you gotta paid ship it anyway? If you don't buy it locally, if you don't have a farm or at least somebody near you that you can buy food from. One month membership or 12 month membership. I opted for the 12 month membership. Get your membership started today and you will get a free gift up to a 24 dollars value i'm about to make some lunch for lunch i am making revive superfoods power palm these are the ingredients brown rice chickpeas wild rice broccoli right brown rice that's worse than white rice because it still has the shell which is all of the anti-nutrients not a good idea chickpeas just more seeds wild rice broccoli of course Goitrogens, destroys your thyroid, uh, just a super toxic plant, it tastes disgusting obviously. Corn, just sugar, pomegranate, uh, sugar, that's about it. Maybe some vitamin C, but there's not going to be any left in there. Uh, in Corn, uh, just a bunch of fiber and essentially. And red peppers. I made it before and I really like it. I might add some kale. Super meal, yeah. What's so super about this? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> it looks like absolute starvation. And besides it being a super small portion, which is exactly why you're so cold, you could at least eat a bunch of rice and corn even if you eat absolute starvation food, and then you would still get some kind of energy out of it, but uh, you eat absolute garbage and you eat very little of it also. If you are super busy or super lazy like me in the kitchen, I just, I don't know why I get so lazy when it comes to cooking sometimes. So again, these are perfect. Whether you're busy or just lazy like me. I've been going you're incredibly and sick and anemic, that's, that's why. I'm trying to decide, do I cook dinner, do I order Postmates? I've been ordering Postmates almost every night for dinner, so it's time to cook. And I'm going to be making a quinoa bowl with whatever veggies I have. Dean just went to the store and picked up some essentials, avocados, red onions, shishito peppers, and I'm going to be air frying some Brussels sprouts and pork potatoes to throw in there as well. What a good boyfriend. He picked one that I can eat tonight. Very sad. What I would like to see is her eating the fish and eggs and how much she enjoys that. She probably swallows it quickly and eats tons of it, whereas this stuff is obviously super unappetizing. And even if she does eat it, then she has to add um, a lot of spices and whatnot, or just cook it a lot. Of course, never in its raw 
natural state. These vegetables are not natural, so it's hard to say that. But as you can see, it's always just a mixing together to somehow make it palatable. She's uh, starred for fat. That's why the avocado. Stashers, which are my favorite. I have them in several different sizes. I got them from Thrive Market. All right. Um, like I said, it's not what you actually eat in a day, probably. Maybe you didn't eat um, the fish today, then, but then tomorrow you probably would. Just show your viewers what you really eat, that you're an ex-vegan now. You failed. And <laughs> almost everybody does, except for the ones who really go hardcore and then they die from it or get hospitalized. But... Uh, Everybody quits, officially or unofficially. Some, of course, cheat. You admitted that you saw a nutritionist and you had to quit, but then uh, just uh, show exactly what you eat and stop promoting veganism if it obviously doesn't work. <laughs> You're making these what I eat in the videos, showing uh, women how to be underweight and infertile, essentially. That's how you look like, anemic, of course, also. You shouldn't make excuses and say that the vegan diet works for some people and for some it doesn't. See a nutritionist, blah, blah, blah. You probably already deep down realize that a vegan diet doesn't work for anybody. That's why you quit. You felt horrible and now you feel a little bit better. Just eat proper red meat and you will feel very good. Start eating organs and you will feel somewhat close to how a natural human is supposed to feel, it will take some time, but then you will realize, and if you would do that, then you wouldn't make videos like this still promoting a diet based on plants, when plants don't have over 50 nutrients, you're promoting malnutrition. Horrible. Thanks for watching.